the other day somebody asked me, you know, Ryan, why is it that my life just keeps blowing up? You know, I keep praying and I keep asking for things. And then as soon as I pray, I get a sign. And a sign that somebody is the one or that an opportunity that I've always wanted is about to happen. And then they either jump for the opportunity, but it's never fully what it is that they actually expected. And the same could be said for the person that they meet. You know, maybe they've got habits which are just terrible. They're abusive or they just don't love them as much as they wanted the person to love them. We've all been there, you know? Uh, back in the day, I also used to ask for things. I used to pray for things. And at the time before I knew about manifestation properly, I, I would get what I wanted. And I'd face consequences because I wasn't being hyper aware as to how specifically I should have been asking my questions. When you ask for a perfect relationship, okay, and then you see a sign that somebody is right for you, the fact of the matter is, is that you shouldn't ever assume that the first person to knock on your door or to ask you out for a date is the one. The way that the universe works is, is it pretty much peers through your soul. It knows exactly who you are and who you need to be in order to be with the one that you're asking for. So, if you want to be with that perfect Mr. whatever his name is, James, Damien, just think off the top of your head, you know, or if it's a girl out there you want to be with, just know this, if you're not ready, the universe isn't going to cheat you out of an experience, no, it's going to help you, and it's going to do that by putting someone in front of you that's going to test you. They're going to bring up everything inside you that you need to work on, in order to be compatible with the one that you wish to be compatible with, your soulmate, right? The person you want to spend the rest of your life with, have kids with, they say. So, in all actuality, if you just know the rules before you ask for something to the universe, whatever it is that's putting things in front of you, then it would help cushion the blow because it's our expectations of what we think is going to happen which actually lets us down it's what makes us feel like crap it's what makes us close off our heart because we don't want to love anymore now can you imagine if you ask for that mr right or that mr somebody to show up within your life you know and you keep missing out opportunities to grow because every person that comes into your reality you shoot down. You notice how they're not compatible. You don't take the time to self-reflect on your own emotions, on your own mindset. You don't take the time to grow within that temporary relationship. And then somewhere down the line of knocking down these people that keep coming in, that the universe keeps sending to you for your benefit, you decide that, you know what, it's not worth it anymore. All because you don't know the rules. You don't know how the plan is being laid out before you in order for you to get the one that you want. You close off your heart, you decide never to feel again. And then all of a sudden, lo and behold, that one you wanted is standing right in front of you. And now you're not ready, because you didn't take the time. Now, whose fault is this? It's nobody's fault, okay? It's just a lack of awareness. At some point throughout your journey, you asked for something, universe provided, and you just wasn't aware enough at that point in time. The good thing is, you can do it all over again. You can ask again, because there are so many people out there who are right for you. And I say that because of this. Whenever you set the intention out there to attract somebody that you need, that intention is a brand new intention. It's a brand new manifestation. So just because you missed out on somebody because you wasn't prepared, you could always just, well, do the year again, right? You can set out another intention for somebody else, if not the same, as the one that you missed out on before, only this time you can be extremely aware as to how each new person that comes into your environment, into your life, is just there to bring up in you things that you need to change. You know, I'm saying this because it's really okay to be unconscious every now and then. It's really okay to mess up. Maybe the universe knew that you were going to mess up. And so it's going to give you so many chances to become aware of what it is that you need to do. Some people do this for a lifetime. They go through so many different partners and they won't know why, you know? And honestly, it's never better straight off the bat. It's, it's never great. If you want to have the perfect life, you need to first 
take apart who you are right now. And of course, taking something apart is a destructive process. So it's going to feel uncomfortable, yes. It's not gonna be fun, no. You're gonna be put in some very, very complicated, harsh conditions. Situations that are gonna make you angry, upset, cry, and question reality. It's gonna suck. Because whenever you ask for change, change, it, it's uncomfortable. But only if you think that it has to be, if you're in resistance to what's actually going on. If you're constantly saying that what you think that should be happening right in front of you is the only thing that should be happening, nothing else. Because you see, when we see something that conflicts our way of doing things, our way of thinking, we think inevitably that everything's going wrong, right? Everything's going to, sh everything's going to hell. Just nothing's working out for you, but everything is working out for you, just in the way that it's supposed to work out, okay? You just need a guidebook, that's all. You need to know the plan. That way when things happen, you're ready, you can brace yourself. I'm Ryan Jaycee, Ryan James Cropper. This has been a spontaneous video. I'm not even quite sure as to what I'm gonna name this video. <sighs> Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And check out my website, ryancropper.com for online courses. And if you've been around for a while on my YouTube channel, you'll know what those courses pertain to. Things like astral projection, manifestation, and memory mastery, and probably even more in the future. Let's be too pretty soon. Peace.